Hey guys, it's Jill and this video is going to be a fourth wing reading vlog. I'm so excited to be reading this finally. It's been out for I feel like a few months and I've seen it everywhere on social media, Instagram, TikTok and everyone loves it, everyone raves about it. One of my friends recently read this and she gave it five stars so I really have high hopes for this one and I'm going to make this vlog spoiler free for those of you who haven't read this yet and I'm going to get right into it and I'm really excited because today I was supposed to have class but the prof actually canceled class so now I have more time to read so I'm really happy about that I mean I also have to study a little bit today but that can be a later issue I'm going to start this and I think I'll read for about an hour and do a little update soon page 89 right now chapter 8 yeah, 89 and so far we are following violet who is the daughter of the instructor at this school called basgayeth basgayeth i don't know exactly how to say that but it's a school it's like b wait what's it there's like a bwc basgayeth war college so she grew up thinking that she was going to become a scribe which is kind of like in my head i think like someone that writes and does like history stuff, writes history books, things like that. However, her mother is forcing her to be training as a dragon rider, which her sister was or is. Also, all of this is part of the blurb, so I'm not really spoiling anything, but she's really nervous to train as a rider because she grew up training to be a scribe and most people who want to be dragon riders they train like their entire lives to become this but she's only been training for the past six months so she really feels like she's kind of on the weaker side of the people that are going to be attending this it's kind of like an initiation thing that they attended and it really seems like there's a hierarchy like the scribes aren't really highly regarded in this world whereas the dragon riders are because they fight and go to war and whatnot and like i mentioned before she does have a sister who's been a dragon rider for a few years now but she's really worried about violet did i even say her name the main character's name i'm pretty sure i think i did anyway main character her name's violet but yeah her sister is worried about her because she knows what it takes to be a dragon rider because she's been it for a few years now and she just doesn't really think Violet has what it takes. There are a few different sections that I've picked up on so far. There's like the Rider Quadrant, the Scribe Quadrant, and the Healer Quadrant. And I'm sure there might be some other ones that I'll figure out sooner than later. And I've seen people compare this book saying that it's a little bit like Divergent, which I definitely can see with the high stakes and everything. And it's really dangerous, the things they're doing. And also with the different kind of like sections that people can choose to go into depending on their talents or their interests. I also do know the name of the love interest which was kind of spoiled for me so when that guy was introduced I was like oh, okay like I know that this is going to be the guy that she ends up with but I think there's also kind of like a love triangle in this as well which has been interesting so far like there hasn't really been any jealousy or anything but I feel like there might be coming up and also because I know who the love interest is, it's definitely a lovers to, or enemies to lovers situation, which, and it's actually like a valid reason why they're enemies. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it and I'm going to continue to read maybe for like 30 more minutes, but I'll do another check-in at that time. So I'll talk to you guys soon. chapter 17 page 193 this book is so fast paced which i love like there really isn't a dull moment where i'm like bored or anything however i do want to see more scenes with violet and the love interest i think i won't say his name just because i don't want to spoil anything but if you know you know and also her best friend dane he is very annoying to me honestly like i i know he wants her to be alive and safe but he keeps trying to convince her to stop 
trying and it's honestly very annoying at this point like he said it probably five times and i got to the part where it's like this very special day where the dragons end up bonding with their riders and i don't know why like i know these dragons are probably huge and scary and could literally incinerate you on the spot but it was just so cute how they just chose their riders and then their riders kind of chose them too and the pairing of the dragon with the rider is called bonding and yeah it's just kind of cute i thought but i'm always i'm not always i'm almost halfway through and i'll probably be able to get to the halfway mark but I think this is going to be my last check-in for today and I probably won't be doing a check-in tomorrow or the next day because I'm working but I'll definitely make time to read more on the weekend so I will see you then Hey guys, I think it's been two days since I last updated Now I'm on page 412 I think um, there's like 500-ish pages in here so I'm almost done but obviously I can't say too much about the plot because this video is spoiler free and honestly I kind of wish that I had it spoiler because there are a few things that i really want to talk about but i can't one thing i was thinking while reading this though was that i would really love if there was a scene which was like a ball i feel like having a ball is always just a fun scene and everyone gets dressed up and the main character and the love interest can dance together and stuff i just think that'd be really cute but I don't think that's gonna happen in this. And one thing that was a little bit confusing throughout is sometimes the characters will call each other by their first name, but sometimes they'll call each other by their last names. So you kind of had to remember the first and last names of some of the characters, which really isn't a big deal. But at the start, I was like, wait, who are they talking about? And then in terms of the romance, it is definitely a slow burn romance. When I was two thirds of the way through this, Violet and the main love interest, all they literally did was just kiss at that point. Now they are kind of like a little bit more together, but it's definitely been a pretty slow process for the romance, which I honestly like because sometimes I'll read books, usually like romance, like normal romance books, and the characters will be together really quickly. But I mean, I don't dislike that either, but I like both slow burn and not slow burn, I guess. But the slow burn is really good in here. I think that the end of this is also supposed to be sad. My one friend was texting me and she was like, oh, I can't wait to cry about the ending with you. There's one thing that I feel like might happen that could make it really sad. But other than that, like I can't really think of what would really make it that sad. But honestly, I don't really think I'm going to be right about it. Um, I love the relationship she has with her sister. Her sister isn't in it that much, but you can really tell that they care and want to protect each other. Overall though, I've really been enjoying reading this. However, I haven't yet got that five star feeling. So we'll see if this last hundred pages will do that for me. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today, but I will talk to you guys soon about my final thoughts. Alright guys, I just finished fourth wing like 10 minutes ago and I will definitely say that it lived up to the hype. There's a few things that I wanted to talk about. So first of all, the love interest that Violet is with, he was just so thoughtful, the things that he did for her, which it was a little bit confusing because he was kind of giving mixed signals, but you could really tell how much he cared about her because his actions and the things that he would do to make sure that she was comfortable and just like okay it was so sweet to read about i also loved in terms of that relationship how violet pretty much always said what's on her mind she didn't really sugarcoat things she was honest and would just tell him how she really feels about situations and the relationship and stuff like that which i feel like in many stories there are a lot of things left unsaid between the couple which i didn't feel like was the case in this the ending was so action-packed and honestly the entire book there was a lot of action throughout it really made me want to just keep on reading to figure out everything that's happening i hope this isn't really a spoiler but there was also some plot kind of twist at the very end which i did not expect at all i think i'll be rating this four and a half stars and i am a little bit disappointed that i didn't get that five star feeling however i still really really loved and enjoyed this book throughout like the entire time reading it and i'm so excited for iron flame to be coming out in november which it feels like a long long time from now but i'm sure that it will arrive quicker than it feels at the moment but that is going to be it for this reading vlog of fourth wing by rebecca yaros thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed if you've read this book let me know your comments in 
let me know your thoughts in a comment down below or if you just have any book recommendations i would love to hear them as well don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more book content and i will see you in a new video coming next week bye